Gute and welcome to this new episode of my YouTube playlist Home Assistant Loves Voice. In the last episode I've shown you how you can expose specific entities to assistant or to voice control or disable entities from being controlled by voice. And uh, we played around with that AC, air conditioning, Klimaanlage in German. And in this video I would like to show you how this natural language processing is done, how you can customize it, and um, let's play around with some other entity. So we have done air conditioning, switching on, switching off. Uh, let's go to another entity, such as a garage door in this case. So uh, I cover uh, the garage door. Let's check uh, the voice assistant configuration. So it should be controlled or should be able to control by voice or textual assist input. So let's do the same as we did with AC air conditioning. Let's go to the textual assist. And I have a really big talent to have the screen so that the entity is not visible when assist opens. So let's move a little, little bit up. So we have the cover, the garage door, hopefully visible, yes. And let's try it the same way we did with the AC switch. So turn on garage door. Sorry, I couldn't understand that. So this is not the, the error that there's no entity found with the name garage door. So if I try to turn on blah, blah, so there's no entity found, but turn on or off garage door seems to find the specified entity, but turn on does not, well, seems not to be working. So let's close assist for a second, go to settings, down to the voice assistance, and let's click this default English uh, based home assistant configuration. And you can see we have this conversation agent. So this is this natural language processing, natural language understanding, NLP, NLU. Um, this is uh, configured to English language. And this is the magical box that tries to figure out what is meant by the user's spoken or textual written request. So let's close this and let's open Home Assistant's documentation on this specific integration. So this is the conversation integration. And uh, let's scroll a little bit down. We have this default sentences and you can add custom sentences. Let me know in the comments if you should play a little bit around <laughs> with having individually customized sentences. But uh, for now, let's go with the default sentences. I would like to work with that cover, so garage door. And uh, in this section for default sentences, you can see that during the year of the voice, the community collected lots of sentences and phrases and demo requests that should be used in several languages to control smart home entities and devices. So let's click this link, Community Contributed Sentences, which will bring you to the Home Assistant GitHub repository. Let's check the sentences directory and go to English or maybe your specific language. And here you can see lots of JAML configuration files with all the possible sentences and request structure. So let's go to this cover uh, section here. So cover has get state, has turn off or turn on. So let's, for example, check this has turn on for covers. And here you can see this type of textual regular expression, whatever you would like to call it. So we have open name in area, for example. So in the kitchen, in the living room or whatever areas you have defined in your configuration. Or this uh, is a great example. Open the, the is an optional word here, garage door. So let's give this a try with open the garage, garage door. So we have the overview. Let's move garage door a little bit to the top so it's not hidden by the assist pop-up. So 
And let's check these arrows here. So the, the arrow up is a little bit grayed out and the arrow down is black. So close the garage door. And now the entity was found and the request could be processed by natural language understanding. So the upper arrow is now bold and the lower arrow is grayed out. So let's skip the optional the word. So let's open garage door and you can see arrows switching in color. So the request has been processed. So if you are not sure how you can control a specific entity, please check out, I'll put the link obviously in the description box too, uh, please check this GitHub repository for all the sentences that are supported out of the box. So just, just for the fun, let's take a look to another, such as set or get temperature. So probably possible sentences to control or to ask for a temperature in a specific room or area. What is the current temperature in living room, for example? So these are default phrases that can be used to control Home Assistant by text or voice. Please let me know in the comment box below what you think on this YouTube playlist video series. That's it for today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Uh, hit the notification bell to not miss any upcoming video on the series and other videos. And uh, if you like, we might see us next time. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.